Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at an awesome do-it-yourself mini pinball machine from Sharpen. Now this is their cheapest offering in their lineup and on the channel, I believe it was about a year and a half ago, we took a look at their larger table which I believe came in with a 22 inch display and with that we could always connect it to a PC, you could use it with Switch, you could hook it up to an Android device and overall we had a blast with that one but I'm going to tell you right now that this mini version that they're offering now has been the most fun that we've had at the house with a virtual pinball ball machine in a long time. Now this is coming in with a smaller display from 10 to 11 inches and over on their website right now they're offering a kit which doesn't come with your display and all the hardware you need to get this up and running or you could spend a little more and get everything you need directly from the website. So the base kit here the mini version 3 is 99 euros or you can get everything you need for 249. If you're interested in learning more I'll leave a link to the website in the description but yeah I mean we've been having an absolute blast with this thing and on their much larger or their original model basically what they were using there was an HDMI display so we could plug in anything that has an HDMI out signal to that device. We could also connect the USB for all of the controls built in. But with the new Sharpen Mini this is actually using an Android powered touchscreen tablet. Now you can go from 10 to 11 inches the way it sits out of the box or you know if you wanted to do a little bit of modification I don't see why you couldn't fit like a 13 inch tablet in this unit. And yeah they do make 13 inch tablets out there. Now, if you're not familiar with Pinball on Android, there are a bunch of apps on the Google Play Store and hundreds and hundreds of tables that we can choose from. And I'd say 99% of these apps do support physical controls. I know for sure that anything using the Zen Pinball engine on Android, be it your Star Wars tables, your Marvel tables, American Dad, Family Guy, I think they got some Simpsons stuff going on, or anything with Pinball Arcade or Pinball Deluxe do work with physical controls. There's really no setup we need to do here. It's just kind of plug and play. Now, what I've got going on here is just kind of the stock Android operating system but you could always set up a launcher to have all of your games just listed in one little directory there you could actually make it look pretty nice there's several free launchers on the Play Store that will allow us to do something like this but I've just kind of got a basic setup here and we're gonna start right off with some Zen pinball because I wanted to show you how this thing performs I've got three kids this has been sitting on the bar top and they can't stop playing it so we've got Zen Pinball here and through this application there's a lot that we can actually download. I'm just going to go with the stock table that comes with this application right out of the box. And yeah, I mean, if you wanted to sign into Google Play, we've got full access to Google Play on the tablet that they're going to provide with the higher end model or you could go with the tablet that you choose. Something like a Lenovo M10 would actually work out really well here and they're pretty cheap right now at Walmart, Target and even Best Buy. Now, one of my main gripes with some of these digital pinball machines on the market right now is navigation. You know, navigating the operating system, getting to your game and everything like that is usually done by a physical button, let's say a little D-pad that's on the side or the front of the machine. It can definitely be cumbersome, but since we've got a touchscreen tablet here, it makes it really easy to navigate everything we need. We can open up our favorite pinball application and get right into our favorite game with ease. And once we're in here, we've got these physical buttons. So we've got our flipper buttons over here on the side. We can also set up nudge buttons because we've got two on each side. And a lot of these actually just use the accelerometer in the tablet itself. So nudge will work just by nudging the whole cabinet. And of course, we've got our plunger button right up front. Now with these pinball games on Android, it really doesn't take that much to run them at full speed. With this setup here, we're definitely running at 60 FPS. I didn't have to turn any of the effects off or anything like that. And by the way, there are applications out there that will allow us to use a DMD on the back of this unit. And you could use an extra tablet or even your Android phone connected wirelessly to have that DMD, otherwise known as back glass, set up. That way we've got our scoreboard right there on a whole nother device. So it's not taking up any kind of screen real estate with the tablet screen. And real quick, I did want to give you a rundown on the specs here. So for the CPU, we've got the Unisoc SC9863E. We've got eight cores up to 1.6 gigahertz, six gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of internal storage, plus micro SD card support, a 10.1 inch full HD 1920 by 1200 IPS display, dual stereo speakers built into the tablet, Plus, we've got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, so if you wanted to add external speakers, you could always go that route. And this is running Android 11 with full access to Google Play, so all of those pinball apps and tables can be easily downloaded. So we just took a look at the Zen Pinball performance, and it's great, so let's go ahead and do uh, Pinball Deluxe. Now this does have a few tables built in right out of the box. We don't have to purchase anything. Go ahead and load right into the application. 
And again, we're going to use the touch screen to navigate so we can find a table we want to play. There's actually quite a few built in here, you know, ready to go, but you can purchase more if you want to. And we'll just go with this one, Treasure Hunter. So it'll load right in, and this is another one of those applications that works with the physical buttons. And by the way, this is connected over USB, so we don't have to worry about any kind of input lag or anything like that. It's not a Bluetooth setup connected to the tablet. This is a wired connection from the buttons. All right, let's go with one of these power balls and see what happens here. Haven't tried this before. Not exactly sure what it's doing. It just, you know, actually, it just might be giving me a score multiplier. I thought it was going to be faster or, you know, have more effects or something like that. But yeah, not bad. I mean, performance is great on this tablet with everything that I've tested so far. And the final one I wanted to show off here was the Williams Collection. This is actually one of my favorites. Uh, we've got a ton of great tables to choose from. You can also unlock more by playing like daily missions and everything like that. And uh, I'll show you on the next one, but we do have different views that we can use with this. This Williams collection is actually powered by Zen, which in my opinion is really the best for Android. We get all of those awesome effects on screen. We've got several different camera options that we can choose from. And when it comes to Zen, I mean, they do have the best collection, some of the best tables, but a lot of them need to be purchased, you know, on Google Play or through the application itself. This was just kind of the Williams collection with a lot of great stuff already there. And I just swapped over to a new table. This is the creature from the Black Lagoon. And uh, if we press this camera button here, we can get that top down view or we can kind of get the 3D view if we want to. And on some of the higher end Zen tables, they do have kind of a 3D follow camera. Personally, not a huge fan of it if I'm using kind of a table like this, but I mean, it's there if you want it with those higher end tables. Here's the Doom table, and this is one of those that has kind of that follow cam. Once you get in an area, it'll zoom up for you. Some people really like these extra effects, and this little tablet can definitely handle it. So overall, this thing has definitely been a lot of fun, and I know it's not for everybody, but if you're interested in learning more, I will leave some links to Sharpen's website in the description, and if you've already got tools, you could definitely put something like this together. But if you don't want to get that involved, I completely understand, and they've got the kits available over on the website. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. I really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, or if there's anything else you want to see running on this, just let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.